Welcome to the Saturday Night Showdown. Tim Martin, the boss of Weatherspoons, has been knighted in the New Year honours list, and lefties are furious about it. He's a Brexit backing gammon, they shriek. He's guilty of the crime of Britishness. Coincidentally, you can buy gammon egg and chips for about three quid in a spoons. These socialist nurses can't believe that Tim has been knighted. I can't believe Tony Blair was. Some lefties say that they're boycotting spoons, as if they ever went there in the first place. They'd be terrified in case somebody like me spoke to them. Most of them probably don't even drink because their wife's boyfriend doesn't let them. And alcohol is haram for Muslims, so lefties probably think that pubs are Islamophobic. But I think that a knighthood for Tim Martin is long overdue. While Dyson found a way to make vacuum cleaners more expensive, Tim Martin found a way to make beer cheaper. As a Scot, that's the kind of innovation I can get behind. But I don't just love weather spoons for their low, low prices. Weatherspoons pubs give people dignity and community. As a jobbing comedian driving up and down the country, I always eat in spoons, hot food, big portions, and it's served on a plate so you feel like a human being. Look around and you'll see working men taking their families for a meal without the anxiety of having to pick the cheapest bottle of wine on the menu or decide if they're having starters or desserts. Have it all! In Weatherspoons, everyone can live like a king, and you see people socialising. Pensioners catching up over free refills of coffee, lads getting a round in and getting change out of a tenner. British society was built on pubs. In the old days, most people didn't have kitchens at home, so the pub was where anyone could go to get hot food and an ale at an affordable price. Not anymore. Now most pubs have priced themselves out of the reach of the working man. You go in and it's £12 for a soft boiled scotch egg and about £7 eight pounds for a pint of overly hoppy craft lager. Why have they got to craft lager, by the way? Remember when they just made lager in a lager factory instead of crafting it in a microbrewery? And it tasted delicious, like it's supposed to, like fizzy yellow lager. Now it has to be crafted by people with expensive haircuts and moustaches and wallet chains and it tastes like washing up liquid and dried flowers. I don't want to drink detergent with an oxo cube in it and the cartoon on the side. I want fizzy yellow lager for less than two quid and Weatherspoons delivers on that. Also, scotch eggs should cost 79 pence for two and give you horrific heartburn and only be purchased from a petrol station. Stop trying to make them taste nice. It's Scottish food. It's not supposed to taste nice. Also, please don't eat too many scotch eggs. I'm very worried about where the next generation of Scotchmen is going to hatch from. And despite the low prices, Weatherspoons generates huge amounts of revenue for the economy. Tim Martin is literally paying the salaries of the socialist nurses who treat him with such disdain. Tim Martin has paid £6.1 billion in tax over the last 10 years, apparently, and employs over 40,000 staff who also pay tax. He supports businesses the length and breadth of the country who also pay tax. If Tim Martin was a Remainer, he'd be held aloft as a hero. But because he supported Brexit, Tim Martin is a pariah to the chattering classes. Compare him to the darling of the left, Gary Lineker, who weasels out of paying his share. As ever with the left, they don't care about what people do, only what they say. But they should love weather spoons too. It functions as a holding pen for oiks like me, keeping us out of the way of the beautiful people. And the weather spoons is the pub of the future. Our obesity epidemic will be tackled by spoons drinkers having to walk up seven flights of stairs to get to the toilet. And the sticky carpets will keep us tethered to the ground in low gravity if we establish a colony on the moon, or the moon underwater, as it'll be known. Tim Martin and Weatherspoons, I'll raise a pint to you.